Hey, how's it going? Ryder the dog wants to introduce you to my matching kitchen island tables. I built these using simple lumber materials from the local home improvement stores. This is just uh, two by two posts. I didn't even cut these. I bought them uh, at a, I believe it was a 32 inch length. Didn't even have to cut them to fit. And they're right about the same height as our cabinets. And you'll see that I used paint to match these tables with the color that we're using on our cabinets. And these tables are nice because they're portable. You know, I can move them around. I could put wheels on the bottom if I wanted to. It's not necessary for our purposes, but we wanted them to match. And we wanted this open space in between. We're gonna put like a breakfast nook in there. And um, these are a fairly simple construction as you can see. And then this bottom section is hold, held in place with some angle irons underneath. You could also avoid the angle irons altogether and just make it removable. And uh, this particular table, I didn't finish yet. I just wanted to show how I made it. You can see the post construction with some one by twos. And that's all held together with jigs. Let me pull this top off. And where the jigs are, really hard to see, but what I did was I, instead of using the jig wooden stock plugs that you can purchase to cover up these, these holes, I just went in there with some, with some plaster putty and just paint it over it. The plugs don't fit all that well without some sanding down and that gets to be such a pain that it's just easier to use the putty. So I used uh, jig pocket jigs on each corner, top and bottom, down here too. You can see I have these one by two braces. And I used the high gloss cabinet paint that you saw. I used two coats of that cabinet paint with one coat of polyurethane on top. And I'll show you the polyurethane. Here's the poly. It's labeled as one coat. I used more than that. On the paint sections, I used one coat on top of two coats of paint. But on these top sections, I'm using three coats. What I did was I, I hit this top piece. I didn't use any stain, by the way. Uh, it's just bare wood the way it came. Um, I used one coat and then hit that with really fine sandpaper and then went two more coats over that and I didn't sand the final two coats so you're just seeing three coats the first coat sanded and you can see it gives you a beautiful nice glossy finish with a lot of protection I mean these tables are going to take some some you know abuse kids throwing their backpacks on them toasters that sort of thing, things, normal kitchen activities. So I wanted them to be protected, but I also wanted them to look good. Um, I guess the dog approves of their parents. She's going to miss that space when it goes bye-bye when we put the breakfast nook in there, but hey. Um, I just used little uh, floor pieces on the bottom here. Like, like I said, you could put wheels there if you want. And these tables are 18 inches wide by roughly 32 inches long. So they're about maybe a tad longer than a standard kitchen cabinet. I wanted them to be narrow, so I've got enough room for our dining section in here. And why did I build these instead of just going out and buying them? Because every one that you see online is made in China. I'm sick and tired of giving China business. And I've got the tools to build these myself myself and it didn't take that long to build them the most time consuming part is the paint and uh, polyurethane so if you have any questions leave a comment i'll try to answer as best i can hope you enjoyed this video i know Ryder enjoys the tables or at least the open space there have a good one and subscribe if you like this video take care